I realized the scope of their event was way bigger than anything we'd done before. So they said, not soup for 100, but more like an abundant meal for five to 700 people. I really was excited about the event. And so before I even thought of the logistics, I was just like, yes, we should do it. <laughs> and Alyssa was really excited about it. So we talked to the staff and there was a lot of enthusiasm. People wanted to volunteer wherever they could. So the logistics started to fall into place and settle in and I realized um, <coughs> that we didn't have equipment big enough to do this so we had to source out the right equipment and that the budget would have to be quite large. So we actually found corporate sponsorship and the process was amazing for me because I am usually just in the background you know, cooking away but in this case I organized a large part of the event you know, where I had, to ch I had to chop 50 pounds of onions one day and we were chopping things and then cooking them and then we had to freeze them because I realized that that's how, yes, the only way we can get that much chili made. So, and I am very sensitive to onions. I'll even cry when I chop leeks. So I started chopping away and I didn't have one tear, but everyone else in the room was actually crying. Like the other people in the kitchen were crying and I could just keep going. I was so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> and so I got to learn things from, from fundraising, I got to learn things about um, organizing volunteers for the project, about the budget, I did all of the costing, and so for me it's just been a huge learning uh, curve. I don't think I'm going to have a nap. <laughs> So they created this event to offer food, entertainment, and basically a fun, free event for the people of the downtown east side. So we served some food and it was really a great experience um, to serve up so much food and so much healthy, yummy food um, to the community that we're a part of and to see the people that live in this neighborhood and to see the community that they have. It's gone really great. It's uh, been enjoyable. Mm -hmm. It's nice to talk to people that you don't get to talk to every day. Oh, right. Because they can often sort of they blow away any preconceived notions that you had about mm -hmm. uh, yeah. what to expect. and delectable cornbread with tantalizing cauliflower. <laughs> Voila. Three, two, one, action. Go, Andrea. Nice, nice. More feeling, more feeling. <laughs>